Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Floss and this is the Grape Jelly Library. Before we get into today's video, remember to please like and subscribe. Hi friends, today is day 19 of the 25 books in the month of June. Well, technically, yesterday, June 24th, was day 19, except for I skipped a day because I went and did a thing. Many of you know the new Elvis movie is out by Boz Lerman, and I skipped town to go and see it. And so I'm not going to be bringing you a book per se today. I'm going to be bringing you a variety of books in honor of the release of that movie. Yesterday was the first showing in my area. And uh, in chatting with a friend, she said, oh, I bet you're excited to go see it. And really, I wasn't because one thing that I do not like is a bad Elvis impersonator. Johnny Carson once said, if life was fair, Elvis Presley would be alive and the bad impersonators would not be. So I said to my friend, actually, I'm not excited. I'm anxious and I am not, and I'm like dreading it. I'm really not wanting to go because one thing I am not about is drama. I am not about drama and um, I like to get right to the chase, cut right to the chase. So to sit there, I'm not a movie person, first of all. So to sit there and kind of just listen to a bunch of bull poop takes a lot from me and takes a lot out of me but because it's Elvis I'm gonna go I'm gonna find out all right but I said to her I am not going there as friends I am actually going there to pick this movie apart they were my pre-conceptual intentions from take off my preconceptual intentions became misguided intentions because, oh my goodness, electrifying. All the hype right now on the internet and on YouTube, on the Google searches, all the buzz is Elvis right now. And it does my heart so good to know that his name is still alive and well. I recently just read a tweet that said, for a deceased man, Elvis is sure making a lot of noise. Um, one of the things he was fearful of is he wouldn't be remembered for anything. And oh my goodness, how wrong he was. So I am a self-proclaimed Elvis fan from birth. I think as soon as my two feet landed on planet Earth, I became well aware who Elvis Presley was and there was no looking back for me. The movie just is captivating. It captures your attention and you do not even have to be an Elvis Presley fan. You do not have to. But I just want to say Elvis Presley is the only artist who recorded pop, rock and roll, country and western, gospel and rhythm and blues. And they do not call him the king for no reason. So the end of the movie, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but by the end of the movie, a huge chunk of it, a huge chunk of the end of that movie, I spent sobbing, sobbing and sobbing. My nose hurt. It stung. My nose was stinging. My eyes 
what were filled with tears of sorrow and love and my face was mascara riddled and I just said to myself, how could one person love another person that they have never even met so much? How could just everything about him bring out such happiness and love? Um, Colonel Tom Parker was said to not have been the best manager and i will definitely agree with that at times but there is a part of me a, a big part of me that was grateful for him in ways such as without him i would not have 33 elvis movies to reflect back on i would not have the lost vegas years to enjoy which are my favorite years so many things I wouldn't be able to enjoy had it not been for Colonel Parker. Do I think he should have um, released Elvis after the Colonel turned or reached a certain point in his health or a certain age? Absolutely. But because of the goings on in his life, I'm just going to let it there go. If you don't know anything about Elvis and you're not a fan, I believe it's still good to go find out about a person. Go see this movie. You will, you will have an appreciation for the life that he led and um, the, the road he paved for fellow musicians that were up and coming. Um, huge, huge inspiration on many performers and an American legend. He's not even iconic. He's a legend. I feel legend goes beyond icon. So um, what do they say? The sun never sets on a legend. All right. Many of you, I was just little, very, very little when he passed away. I was six years old when he passed away in 1977. And many, many, many of us, whether we are fans or not, know the exact point in time we were at in our lives when we heard the news of Elvis's passing. <clears throat> I myself, at six years old, know that I was upstairs in the bathroom and it was right around 11 o'clock noon. Take this. I had the curl and iron plugged in. The hot barreled electric curl and iron plugged in at the age of six because I was curling my hair like Farrah Fawcett so that I could go outside over to the playground and play. I had to make sure my hair was done. They made the announcement on the radio, just like The Exorcist, my head did a 360. I turned to look at that radio to make sure what they just announced was what I actually heard. And they announced it again. And I ran down that stairs. My mother was in the kitchen washing clothes and I told her, Mom, Mom, they just said Elvis died. And she said, get out of here. No way. And I said, yes. Who told you that? They just said it on the radio. And she said, you better call your father. He was at work. So she dialed the number for me on the landline, the rotary. And I asked for my father at work and I told him. And that was my memory of the day that I found out that he passed away. Um, such a huge influence on so many things in this world. 
definitely I'm recommending highly. Go check that movie out, fan or not. Go check it out. Um, so the books, this is just like concrete evidence of what I what I feel for him. I said that I wasn't going to ever do a book on Elvis. And if I did, maybe just once. Because my love for him is so darn strong that I don't want to become obsessive with it so that other people go, oh, it's all she talks about. I'm very good at keeping um, my love for him at bay. Those who know, know. Um, However, I have to say that Elvis Presley was given to the world and he he belonged to the world. But for those of us who are diehard fans, he was also given to us individually and personally. There will never be another like him ever. This is one subject I never tire of learning about. We have Elvis the legend lives. Let's do this. Elvis karate legacy. And this one is signed by his karate instructor. I bought that when I went to Memphis. Um, uh, Priscilla's account of her time with Elvis. Elvis and me. Ginger Alden's um, take on her life with Elvis. Elvis and Ginger. We have the books that Elvis read and in personal life. We have Joyce Bova's account of her relationship with Elvis. We have Elvis in Vegas. We have Linda Thompson's recorded relationship of her time spent with Elvis. We have Elvis Presley and the wo women who loved him. We have Graceland's Table. Because um, I like to know what the king had for supper. Um, My Best Man Elvis by one of his bodyguards, George Klein. Um, Elvis Top Secret. Me and a Guy Named Elvis by Jerry Schilling. Elvis by the Presleys, the gospel side of Elvis, an Elvis book I just bought at my library sale. I don't like tacky Elvis things, but when I read the synopsis of this, um, yes, I want to know what went on by his secretary who saw things firsthand. That book I have not read yet. I will be getting to that very soon. I just bought this one, Elvis the 68 Comeback Special. This is all the goings on that happened behind the scenes of this uh, when I believe a Kennedy was shot and Elvis is, uh, yeah, Steve Binder. He's the one that put this together, this show. Um, Elvis is sorrow at the shooting and um, his take on it. And at the end of this, he gave something back to the world in the form a, of a message song. Very beautiful, inspirational song. Um, Elvis, Still Taking Care of Business by Sonny West. We have Life in Pictures, Elvis. Um, more picture books of Elvis and more picture books of Elvis. We have more of what the king ate for supper. We have the encyclopedia of Elvis, an informational book of Elvis, another informational book, and another. And we have Elvis by Al Albert Goldman. We have The King and Dr. Nick by George Nicopolis. We have, who oh, this was a hard one to read. Elvis, What Happened? This one was written by Sonny West, Red West, and Dave Hebler. They were members of his mafia, his bodyguard. Um, very detailed of the autopsy and how it was botched and how they had to... 
uh, smash Elvis's teeth because rigor mortis had already set in and they need, needed to get that hose down his throat. Um, the Private Elvis, Elvis Aaron Presley, Revelations from the Memphis Mafia. Um, what a fabulous book. Fabulous. This, yes. This is a celebration of Elvis. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I will never, ever, until the day I leave this earth, tire of finding out about him. There is always something new to learn. Um, for instance, no matter how many books, I have 30 books here, and no matter, how, and I have more, but no matter how many books I read or have read, this movie taught me even more. Do I believe this movie? You better believe it. 100% I am on board with this movie. Austin Butler, fabulous. Everybody was saying he wasn't going to do a great job because he just didn't look like him. Well, I am here to tell you I would have picked him myself. A story, a movie well worth going. Go get your popcorn. Go get your Cokes. Go get your raisinets. Recline back in those chairs and just sit down and experience who Elvis was and his contribution to this world. So that's my day 19. Um, until my next video, my name is Floss. I love you. Be good, be well, be reading. Be drinking that water. Unless you're going to see the king, then have a treat and get yourself a Coke. Bye-bye.